Fingerboard Week, presented by your boy, Ice JJ Fish. It's something about the girl that just makes my head wanna twirl. Today, I want to try make, which what kind of sounds dumb, I want to try make a pump track for fingerboards, which is silly because you don't need a pump for speed on a fingerboard, but I'm thinking of it more as just kind of a park that will be fun to use because it has all the berms and the pumps and stuff like that. Not something that you necessarily have to use as a pump track. But before we get into actually making the fingerboard version, I think we should go try ride some real pump tracks to see what it do. But first of all, we gotta go pick up some of my friends. Sup, dog? Sup. How, <laughs> How are you? Good, thank you. I asked you first. Oh, no. No. <laughs> oh, yo. Yo. Oh, shut dude. <laughs> this is the um, new fingerboard week stuff. That's right. Yo. You wanna know what the really good thing about not having a driver is? You can go. Double dead hands. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're on our way to the first pump track. It's made of plastic. It's kind of strange. I'll give you five dollars if you jump in right now. Six. Six? Bro, I don't know if I can go that high. First kickflip in the new shoes. Yes. You know how you think? Yeah. Oh hell yeah. yeah. Super powerful, bro. And now we're riding this electric skateboard. Get a cam! <laughs> oh, he's going quick. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get this punch track to go with these kids on it. Hopefully I don't take anyone out. Gotta get the GoPro angle out. It's lit! We've decided to just get lunch. You know what? We're getting vegan burgers. Did you know it's vegan? Wait, is the chicken vegan? Yeah. I swear. <laughs> Dude, I told you it's a vegan burger place. This is where we went last time though, right? Dude, you might have got a vegan burger and just didn't know. Oh, okay. Next spot. Hopefully it's not full of children. Cockburn Street's coming up. Get the camera. Ah, oh, I got it now. Pretty sure no one's here. Sick. Yeah, this one's dope. There's like jumps and stuff. Dude, that's sick. This is the second pump track. Yo, get pumpy, man. <laughs> no, why is it raining? It started raining. It seems like the universe just doesn't want us to ride pump tracks. I have this wood, which I want to use for the base of the pump track. And I want to make all the slopes and stuff out of polystyrene and then concrete over them. Which means I need polystyrene slash foam. And I do have a bunch of foam, but that means we have to make a trip to the basement. The basement. The basement. The basement. The basement. Just uttering its existence sends a shiver down my spine. Ooh. And all the viewers from the very first Fingerboard Week would know that if we have to go to the basement, we need to get strapped up. The mission 
to go deep into the depths of the basement of doom to retrieve the treasured polystyrene. This is not an easy task. As many have studied in history, the basement of doom is riddled with many booby traps left there by the ancient Aztecs. Many have tried to retrieve the polystyrene, but many have also failed. So today, I will be attempting this grueling task. And if you're hearing this, wish me luck. Thing. There it is. The polystyrene. I think it worked. I know the tricks of this old hellhole. I want to try and make the whole thing with no template. It's just kind of gonna be freestyle off the top of the dome. Hey Siri, play epic freestyle rap beat. Yeah, hey. Yeah. I'm gonna freestyle this pump track. It ain't gonna be wet. And then I'm going to eat a snack. Oh! I think it's gonna end up being inspiration from the punk tracks we went and rode earlier in the video. First things first, I guess, gotta kinda draw it out so we can see how it's gonna look. This is where you start, you go down here, there's a pump, you go around this berm, into this berm, the that one, there's another pump, and then that final berm, then you go back to the start. Pretty simple pump track, but I think it's gonna work, and it's actually gonna be fun. I don't wanna try and make something that's too complex and that just ends up not working. It's way more fun to have something that's simple, that works well, than something that's really complex and just doesn't work. And I feel like it's a good size, because I can kinda reach around the whole part. I guess the next step is just to start making it out of polystyrene. Styrofoam slash polystyrene is toxic as frick. So make sure you always stay strapped up. I'm gonna try and make a taco to put in this corner. So you can see I've doubled the height and I've got the slopes drawn out. part of the polystyrene is done, so now I just need to stick it down to the board with glue, which I should have liquid nails. Now we wait till tomorrow for everything to dry, and then we can concrete it. This is the type of concrete we're using. It's this quick patch cement. It dries pretty quick and it has these fibers in it, so it keeps it strong. Track. Yep, very solid. But it's pretty bumpy, so the next step is to sand it down and make it smooth. Just gotta get all of these little bumps and stuff out of here. Pretty stoked with how it's turning out, though. It looks really nice. Sanding time. Got some sandpaper. I don't know. Get me 
because most pump tracks are in parks and the one we went to the other day had grass in the middle of everything. Yeah, I think it'll make it look a lot better. I also kind of want to put like a tree right here. I just bought these model trees from the model shop to add some foliage to the pump track because most pump tracks are in little kind of like park areas and they got trees and stuff. It's all about the details, man. These trees are the final pieces to this park. The pump track is now officially complete. I think these trees just really give it the extra just Mwah. I'm so stoked with how this turned out. If I was like a miniature person, I would definitely shred this pump track. Well, the last thing to do is try it out. Pump it! Yeah. This is the pump track. That's sick. The little trees for oh, detail. Yeah. Look, it's like you're a giant. This thing actually turned out a lot better than I thought it would. It's actually like really fun. That's sick. I really like this thing. That's also the end of the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to smash thumbs up, smash subscribe, and come back tomorrow for the next video. Also, go check out all the new pork fingerboards. They're all available right now. So if you want to go pick one up, the link is in the description. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Bye.